Hey, this is Dan Adams, Editor-in-Chief of IGN PC, and we're here today to review Warhammer Mark of Chaos. The brutal Warhammer fiction made famous by tabletop strategy games has been getting a lot of attention in gaming lately with the upcoming Warhammer Online and Relic's successful Warhammer 40,000 RTS titles. Jumping on that fun wagon full of blood and guts are Namco and Black Hole Entertainment with their latest release, Warhammer Mark of Chaos, a real-time strategy game set in the fantasy realms of Warhammer. The gist is that players control large armies in all-out battles between order and chaos. The real-time tactical elements are pretty similar to those found in Creative Assembly's Total War series, but the campaigns take a mostly linear, story-driven approach. Players will follow the exploits of Chaos and Empire champions on opposite sides of the same war. The stories are basic fare and are supported by voice and text between missions and occasionally some badly compressed cutscenes. While there are plot points that might be considered twists, the storytelling spoils any thrill by blatantly spelling these moments out before they even happen. While story is in a strong suit here, the gameplay is pretty fun. Real-time battles are tactical affairs, so aside from one of the multiplayer modes, the forces sent into battle are all you're going to get. This type of gameplay makes every unit on the field that much more important, and clever maneuvers can mean more than overwhelming force. Mark of Chaos uses regiments, which are groups of up to 1 to 60 models controlled as one unit, which makes these large battles a little easier to manage. Some of the groups of units also come with special abilities to make some of the tactics more interesting. Supplementing these armies are hero units, which are the most powerful and deadly units on the battlefield due to their special skills. Each hero can use these skill points to bolster their attack capability, leadership bonuses, or dueling skills that are used to battle other heroes one-on-one. -on -one. Some of these wizard units, especially the bright wizards, seem a bit overpowered, but otherwise these units can help create a more chaotic and unpredictable battle, especially when extra items like armor, weapons, and potions are used. Before each battle in the campaign, players will have a chance to choose what heroes and regiments they'll use based on the number of slots available, which differs from mission to mission. In multiplayer and skirmish, however, players can choose from any unit in the chosen army set and upgrade them however they wish. Skirmish and multiplayer combatants will have to think carefully about how many points they're spending as each hero, regiment, upgrade, and item costs a certain amount. These skirmish battles can be pretty fun, especially the reinforcement maps, where victory points grant money that can be spent on new units during the match. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of maps in each mode. In fact, there's only one two-player siege map, so it definitely would have been nice to see more map variety. Visually, Mark of Chaos can be very impressive. Individual models are excellently crafted, and seeing them marching in time can be brilliant. Like some other real-time strategy games, this one moves away from clone armies and offers a wide selection of parts for each of the models in each of the regiments. This creates an awesome variety of soldiers on the field. The army creator even allows players to take these parts and make unique customized forces of their own. Aside from the models, special effects and lighting are also very good and help to create a very unique dark fantasy atmosphere. Unfortunately, the animation, one of the aspects that can really make battles come alive, as has been demonstrated by the Dawn of War series, falls flat. Combat animations are slow and surprisingly bloodless, especially for the brutal fiction of Warhammer. Where's the decapitations? Where's the bone crushing and limb severing? They're nowhere to be found. Maybe anything else like that really would have taxed the engine. As it is, the frame rate can drop substantially in large battles, which never get as large as those found in the Total War series, which is a little disappointing. Still, the slowdown is never enough to completely ruin the fun, and units will always respond to orders. Overall, Warhammer Market Chaos is a pretty fun game. It's not perfect by any means and has some bugs that can be annoying, so if you're really interested in it, you might want to go onto File Planet and check out the demos. The battles themselves offer a good variety of strategies, and everything's set in a really nice, dark environment, so it's definitely worth checking out. There is no escape from chaos. It marks us all.